Last year I dropped my hydrometer, so I bought this digital Bix meter to test the syrup with. It was only a little over two hundred dollars, but for a lot of you, you wouldn't even you don't need this. You can just use the temperature type thing. But you turn it on. about four drops of water and you hit zero and dry out the water one nice thing about this you only need a little bit of syrup to do the test about four drops is what I've been using and then you hit read and my saps at uh, 28.2 percent right now I've been testing it as you know as I go along seeing that it's so easy to do the other meter wouldn't you could the other the mix meter you couldn't even read you know something this low because this will actually I was measuring the sap out there and like when I take a big chunk of ice out of the sap and bring it in and test it some of it tested up to six percent. So, I you if you've seen those ones that's, or read it where they tell you to dump dump the ice out that it ain't worth boiling down. Uh, I you know use this to verify that they're pretty much right on that. You're just wasting your time. I took some of the ice, I melted it down, and it only had 0.04 percent sugar in it which that ain't worth the wood to boil it down for the amount of sap you could get out of that little bit. But I, re I really like this. It, uh, I don't know, I get, I got a little money left over at the end of the month if I'm careful, so I like buying me new toys for the little, little hobby type income things that I do. But I hit zero again. Sometimes when you hit zero, oh, I hit zero instead of. <laughs> okay. I was going to say sometimes when you hit read again, you'll get a slightly different. But when I messed up, a little water, zero. Take that out, the water out. And then hit read again. Well, this time it's reading 28 or 27.4, 27.8, 27.7. But you get the idea here. These things are pretty nice. I, I like this.